minutes. All right. All right. Tarot time. Tarot time. Three card polls. Three card polls. Who's up first? There's Linda with Aquarius right there. <laughs> There's a little Scorpio right there, too. All right. Who's up? Who's up? Who's up first? Scorpio. <laughs> Camus. Okay. A little psychic friend. Let's do it. A little three car pull. Scorpio. Scorpio. Whew. I love the season. Libra into Scorpio. You know, the veil gets real thin. Anyway, and justice. Justice plays out too, man. Let's go, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hey, soul eight, right on time. Let's go, Scorpio. Scorpio, past. Scorpio, past. Uh, this is judgment. It's a very interesting uh, judgment card, right? It, judgment is about Phoenix from its ashes. I don't know. It shows kind of turbulence and shows some people coming up out of the water, regrouping, climbing back up here, and jumping, right? Judgment. Damn, Scorpio. <laughs> you know, and that can be about judgment day for somebody else. Judgment, Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio, in the now, in the now, what do we got? The Empress came out, Taurus Libra energy. Judgment is your energy, that's, uh, that's Pluto. And the Empress right there, Taurus Libra. Could be making a judgment call about somebody. Oh, look at it. Oh, I don't know. I just noticed those lions right there. Hmm. Some of you could have Leo in your chart. There's a judgment call coming about. About uh, Empress energy right there. Hmm. Leo. I said, why did I call you Leo? Scorpio. Ooh, it's a whirly Durbin, man. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. I got to pull more on this because judgment can be about a return. Empress is about somebody planting seeds. Fool card can either be about uh, taking that uh, taking that offer, this could be an offer. Uh, somebody from the past, right, is the end of retrograde right here. Fool cards of Whirly Durbin, Aquarius energy, Aries energy, sudden change. Oh, this person, this person's had Scorpio and Hangman right there. Pisces energy. Yeah, this is, a, this is a, uh, <laughs> I knew something here I didn't like. Yeah, this might be a fresh start, new beginning in a new direction. Give me a card on this, fool card. Just one for Scorpio. You know what's going on. This is like a return. I don't know, man. That Empress energy is interesting. Give me one on this. The sun. The sun came out. This can be about epiphanies. Enlightenment, Leo energy again. Wow, strength. See, I almost feel like this is a resistance energy right here to somebody that's returning to you. But the fool says, hell no, the sun's about epiphanies. Uh, they may not be a genuine empress uh, energy. And the wheels underneath that and the tower. Uh-huh. See, strength. And the wheel. I know I was only going to pull three, but this, I needed to look at it. I didn't like the feeling. Look how bored they are. You know, it's like, how long is this wheel? You know, no, the wheel spins, man. Because this is a tower on this. 
It's about change. And so there's a lover's card right there. Change, Scorpio, enlightenment. Looks like Scorpio heading towards the sun right here. That's what I got out of it, Scorpio. Do what's best for you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's play some tarot tonight. Here we go. Here we go. Gemini. Couple cards for Jimmy Jim, love team. Gemini, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Gemini. Gemini, what's going on? Jimmy Jim. Strength again. <laughs> kind, of, kind of a busy night around here. Strength, you know, it's like this blue, this blue devil over here, kind of caught off guard with that Billy Badass right there. Gemini. Leo card may mean something to you. Strength is a card of resistance. Not interested in the games. Uh, definitely divinely protected with all those weapons around you, Gemini. Give me a card right here. Jimmy Jam. Chariot showed up. Uh, cancer energy. Again, I mean, this chariot, right? It just looks so bold and, and so brazen. And they got their finger pointed at you, Gemini. I don't know. Uh, this could be somebody coming charging back in that you've been resistant to. That's what I'm getting right here. Chariot. Strength card to chariot. What we got? <laughs> and a full card's coming out. Full card's coming out. And uh, that's about, uh, you know, fresh starts and new beginnings. So I got to pull one on this too. Right again, this says resistance. That's a Leo card. The chariot could be somebody coming charging in here for you. Uh, that's Cancer, and and again, the, the fool card is Aries, Aquarius, Uranus, the planet of sudden change. Give me something on this, Gemini. Gemini, <laughs> here we go, Gemini, Gemini. What we got. Oh, the hermit came out. Virgo, you just make ghosts their ass. <laughs> ole, ole, chariot, ole. I don't know. The hermit on the fool card. Yeah, you could just make a quiet exit on this. <laughs> anyway, I love you, Gemini. Ole, ole. All right, miss that, miss that bullet right there. Give me a card right here. Who's up? Who's up? Hey, Heather, glad you're here tonight. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. All right. Libra. Oh, happy birthday, Libra. Happy birthday to you, my friends. Season of justice. Here we go. Libra, Libra, past. Libra, past. What do we got? What's going on, Libra? Oh, the emperor showed up. Damn. Who's that right there, Libra? Damn. Aries. Um, fire energy. Uh, this emperor right here. I mean, this, <laughs> this, this motherfucker got going on, man. What is this? Who is this? Stiff emperor. Lord have mercy. Okay, Libra, Libra, what do we got in the now? What's going on, Libra? Temperance. Um, This is a card of doing work with yourself. Look at this, heads upside down. This is a card very much about, and with this deck. Um, doing the work on yourself right here, loving yourself. You you may have walked away from this uh, very stubborn energy, right? I mean, it's the emperor. Now what that emperor is definitely over the top, holding something like a wheel in their hand. This is you definitely doing uh, the work on yourself. This is some deep inner work, man. I got Libra going on around here. Man, let this energy go or attempting to. 
More on this. Libra, loving on yourself first and foremost. I love that uh, temperance card. Uh, Sagittarius energy. That's Aries Sagittarius. Libra, Libra. Ooh, the magician. <laughs> well, just go ahead and do your work on the inside of yourself because this is a card about manifesting a whole new world. It's a magician. It's Gemini. Virgo, Aries again. Yeah, I think you, um, I mean, that's a very stubborn energy right there. And this is a very peaceful energy, this temperance. And this is a very magical, deliberate creation energy with the magician right here. This is about you loving on yourself first and foremost. You may let something go that was stubborn, hard, all that doing this healing energy work right here and manifesting a new world for yourself. Libra, give me one more on the magician, please, for Libra. What we get right there. Hangman came out on that Pisces energy. Now, this is about changing your perspective about life. You know, the, this old hangman, uh, they, 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 that's about vision work um, for this deck right here. Hmm. And there's enlightenment. There's the sun right there. This enlightenment. This is like looking at life in a whole new world right here for a Libra. It's really, it's really nice. Dare I say maybe you were stubborn at one time. Something was stubborn there. This changes all this energy right here. You know, the vision work, the magician, the sun is about epiphanies. And look at right here, man, judgment. Look at this, Libra. Ooh, this is about, you know, Phoenix from its ashes. It's really very powerful. It's about enlightenment, new visions, new manifestations coming in, leaving this hard, stubborn world behind. And uh, this is judgment. That's Phoenix from its ashes. That's a new world dawning. Very powerful, Libra. Wow, wow, wow. Happy birthday to you. Thank God you're letting that old emperor energy go, whatever that was. It was very stubborn. It was very stern. Hopefully you got something out of that, Libra. Let's go. Let's go. Who's up? Who's up? Virgo. My Virgo babies. All right. My Virgos. My Virgos. Three majors for Virgo. Here we go. Strength card again. <laughs> This is like a regular player here tonight, huh? Leo energy, but, you know, I mean, look at this thing right here, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the old fellow in the blue right there, I mean, they're in trouble, man. They are definitely in trouble. <laughs> it's a strength card. It's resistance, Virgo. That's like a hell no of that strength card, man. Not today, not to me. Here we go. Here we go, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. In the now, the high priestess came out. That's a special energy. Well, this is a quiet energy. It's also a very spiritual energy. It's a card of intuition. It's a card of secrets. You know, and then in this deck, it is Persephone's from Greek mythology, the one that was kidnapped and taken down to Hades. Had to, you know, make a deal with Hades with the pomegranate right there. Um, six, six seasons out of Hades and six seasons, she has to go back into Hades every year. 
It's a quietness. It's a stilling. It's a intuition. It's psychic abilities. Again, this uh, mysterious lady right here, the high priestess, she is looking in a new direction. So is the strength card. Quiet, intuitions, talking with source, definitely blocking energy with the strength card. One more, Virgo. The emperor came out. Aries. Aries. The emperor, I mean, that's uh, entrepreneur energy. Um, can be somebody with some age. What the hell's going on around here? Is the Empress, the Emperor, and the Empress? I don't know. You know, and the High Priestess is the one that leads us and guides us to this kind of connection right here. I don't feel that you're being resistance to this energy right here. I believe that this energy may be unfolding for you, Virgo, right? The emperor and the empress, they're supposed to hang out together and all that with the tarot. Now, this strength is definitely being uh, reserved and holding your energy back. And you do have a wheel of fortune here. That emperor has a wheel on their hand, too. Um, and, uh, well, there's a tower. <laughs> there's a tower. So there's some change coming in here. It has to do with the lovers. The changing of the guards around here for many of my Virgos. I don't know if you even know about this right now. High Priestess to the Emperor and the Empress. I got a root for that. The wheel's on here. Some kind of resistance to something that has been, um, I don't know. Stopping this energy. I see it on the board, though. If it's meant to be, it'll be. I love it for you, Virgo. It's a really nice spread. The Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, the Emperor and the Empress is on that. And the Strength card. So you put it together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who's up? Is there interesting, these three card pulls? You can pull them out yourself. Play cards on them with yourself if you want. Who's up? Pisces, my Pisces babies. Three majors for Pisces. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces love team. Here we go, Pisces. The past, what's this? Judgment again. Ain't it fun how <laughs> the same cards can, I mean, they come out. Because we're all in this together. Now, this is Phoenix from its ashes. And again, uh, it could have been some real challenging times for you, right? I mean, look at the deluge right there. And uh, they're getting back up on the rock. They're healing. And they get back together. They take a leap of faith in a new direction in life. Phoenix from its ashes right there. First card out. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. Pisces, judgment. Scorpio energy. Pisces. The magician came out. Look at this. Just look, you you jumped off you jumped off you jumped off the cliff right there you went through the deluge you healed yourself you got up there and then you helped build a new world and this is like here we go fresh start new beginning leap of faith it's a magician card it's brand new energy of manifesting newness all around in your world this is Gemini Virgo Aries. And uh, that is Scorpio. Love the magician behind uh, judgment. So don't let nobody take this from you, Pisces. <laughs> Here we go, man. It's a beautiful energy manifesting newness all around you. Here we go. Pisces. What do we get? Chariot. 
Well, that's interesting in this position. Very positive, actually, in that position. And that is about forward movement um, in a new direction in life. It is a, I mean, the chariot always pursues the star in the tarot. The star is great hope, great faith, healing. Interesting energies right here, Pisces. Very victorious. Phoenix from its ashes for you. The manifester, the magician to the chariot. Forward movement towards victory. Wow, that's an interesting card too, is justice. Libra energy on this. Um, and again, this is the balancing of karma. I mean, it could talk, you know, because that could be a return card, right? It's judgment. Judgment is about the awakening, the lovers coming up out of the grave. Somebody want to manifest a new beginning with you. It can be a communication card. I don't know, forward movement. And justice could very well be the balancing of karma. I'm going to let it go at that, Pisces. Do its best for you. I never like to talk too much about returns. <laughs> anyway, that, what that might be talking about with the Pisces out there. If so, they look good. If so, I would play tarot off that yourself in your own world, Pisces, right? Let's go. Let's go. These major reads are fun. Let's go. Who's up? Who's up? <laughs> Linda, Linda be rooting Aquarius here. I think we can get an Aquarius card out here. Not Leo. Uh, the other side, the other side of the zodiac. Leo. My Leos. I love you, Leo. Change. Give me some cards. Majors. Leo. Leo, love team. Leo. What we got here? Past. The lovers. <laughs> Ah, uh, Leo, there we are, you know, the polar difference, you know, one's an angel, one's a devil. Damn it, you know, it's the lovers. Gemini energy on that. I mean, about a choice with lovers. Leo, you're always dealing with the devil, man. <laughs> Leo, I mean, there's always the devil around your, your cards, man. Damn it, Leo. Give me a card right here. Leo, the lovers, what's going on around here? It's happening, Leo. Oh, the Empress showed up. Taurus, Libra. You know, this Empress, though, I mean, there's something about this Empress. They just, uh, I don't know. They kind of look like they're, they, they don't really, I don't know, put a lot of effort into anything. Oh, oh, look at the, look at the lions right here. The, oh, oh, shit. And I saw them staring at those lions. It's kind of like a lover that's obsessed with you. Oh, my God. No, Leo. <laughs> no, no, Jekyll and Hyde. What am I looking at right here, man? Damn it. Somebody just wants to come over and hang around at Leo's world. Leo, just go handle everything. I, I, got, I, got, the, I got it all covered around here. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, Empress is what an Empress is. Sometimes they just sit around and want to be catered to. This one, this one, oh, my God. They're so, they're staring at those lions right there. Oh, Lordy, Leo. <laughs> Give me a card right here. Give me a card, Leo. Leo. <laughs> Here we go. Leo. The sun came out. Oh my God. They see you as Zeus. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that snake all wrapped around the legs. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know about this energy right here, man. Oh, they need your sunshine, Leo. This devil right over here, they need your sunshine. They like laying around in your couch, too, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, Leo. Oh, you're shining. You're shining. 
Why is Hangman here, though? Why the hell is Hangman here? Oh, is this Leo getting an epiphany about this old Empress energy? It's not really an Empress, it's a devil, man. I'll just, I'll just say it right here, man. Yeah, this could be about an epiphany, you know, visions, right, Leo? You know, because that's that old American Indian. They used to hang him in the tree till they till they got the vision, you know, till they, till they saw the vision, you know. <laughs> and that's the sun card. Could be about some enlightenment, getting a new perspective about this lover right here. And I swear they're obsessed with you, man. Damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Give me one more, man. Leo, Leo. <laughs> this is about it's about you getting zen right here. Yeah, hangman, zen. This is the Herophant energy. Epiphanies and enlightenment. And Leo, this isn't an empress. Oh my god. Damn it. This is Santeria death card showing up. No, that ain't no empress. Why, why am I getting this? They're trying to fuck your show up, man. What is this about? I don't know, man. I don't like that card. I send it back. I send it back. Look at you, man. The sun, an epiphany. Look at this devil. This is a death card, right? It's Santa Maria. You know, it's black magic shit. <sighs> Damn it, man. Oh, see, it's a fucking devil, man. This is Leo fucking coming in light with all that right there. And getting back to Leo, getting some zen back in your world right here. Yeah, I'm tired of being in the hangman tree. Damn it, that was a crazy read. Love you, Leo. I would fire him if I was you. <laughs> yeah, I don't like all that Santa Maria shit either, man. All right, Leo. Yeah, here we go, man. Who's up? Aquarius, look at that Linda hitter right there. There you go. All right. Well, all my Leos around here are angels. I love them. I love Leo. That is not an angel that's been playing with Leo. That is somebody that appears to be an angel. I did not like that Santa Maria card right there. The obsession that I felt with all that. Leo, I'm praying for Aquarius, Aquarius, couple cards for Aquarius right here. Couple cards for Aquarius. What do we got? Damn it, judgment. There's a lot of us climbing up on top of that rock right there. Phoenix from its ashes coming out of the deluge. Damn it, just barely made it. Damn it, Aquarius is. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, shit. Oh, just get your breath. Breathe, Aquarius. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the journey. Here we go. We're coming up. Up here. The phoenix from its ashes right there. Again, it's judgment. Could, could talk about somebody wanting to reconcile something. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> judgment stay 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 burning bright my phoenix all right yeah here we go here we go in the now aquarius wow it's the world card what is this about the world card it's about old cycles ending and new cycles beginning. Oh, my God. Is this like the potential of a return? Look at these two, man. Damn it. Oh, my God. What is this? Here they come with a flaming heart. They got a sword. Aquarius, they got a flaming heart and a sword. Old cycles ended. New cycles begin. Oh my God, Aquarius! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Let's get a whole new world here, Aquarius. 
Phoenix from its ashes, but you know, I'm just reading majors, right? And that's judgment. Many times it talks about a reconciliation attempt. The world talks about old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. We are coming out of these retrogrades. If this is a return, I wouldn't rush into anything. If they left you in the deluge right there, man, left you left you for dead on the beach, man, and now they're coming back, you know. I don't know, Aquarius. I love you. Here we go, man. What are all these returns about right here, man? Here we go. Aquarius. Oh, hangman, damn it. Hangman tree coming out again. Who are these people that want to keep all my people in hangman? I want to keep you in hangman. They love your energy. They love your magic. Oh, they want to tell you they're bringing you in your whole new out. Pisces. Uh, that's a world card. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Judgment is Pluto, the cold, long, long way away planet. A deep work. Oh, Aquarius, give me something on Hangman, right? Here. Get let's get the vision. Let's get the vision. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna be left in Hangman, right? There. That is not a new world. That is not a new cycle. <laughs> Phoenix from its ashes over here, and you having a whole new world. My only problem is there are two people in here, man. There's two people in that world card. Normally there is not. Yeah, it's like a return right here, Aquarius. <laughs> Buckle up, buttercup. They're coming in to put you back in the hangman's tree. Damn it. And this sun card didn't go away. I saw it three or four times, and then it, it, it pulled, which can be about a, epiphanies and enlightenment. I wouldn't rush into anything with any of these returns, man. Oh, my God, is it our lazy empress again? Who is this? You and Leo, man, need to change notes with each other. What the hell is going on around here? Aquarius and Leo. I hope, are you guys dealing with the same person? What the hell, man? That's that old lazy empress again. Rick and lovers. Oh, my God, man. It's a devil. There's a, there's a devil running around out here calling it love. I love you, Aquarius. Keep your freedom. Let's go. Who's up? Who's up? <laughs> Here we go, man. Who is up, man? I Bumblebee. Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus babies? My bulls. That is so right, OJ. That is so right. And that's that old lazy empress that showed up, man. Anyway. Taurus. 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 There we go. Taurus, my bull. Taurus. Taurus, love team. Past. Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is all retrogrades. They're ending tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no. This is Phoenix from its ashes. Taurus. Damn it. Taurus, jump, jump. Taurus. It's the deluge right here. Kaboosh. You're in good company. How many of us have pulled this out the first card? It's like, oh, my God. I made it. Get my breath. All right. Get my strength back. Okay, I'm climbing up the mountain. Ah, fresh start, new beginnings, right? Judgment, Phoenix from its ashes, but it can talk about somebody wanting to raise something from the dead. <laughs> All right, Taurus in the now. What's going on around here, Taurus? <laughs> There we go. I love you, Crystal. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Taurus. Damn it. It's this lazy empress. I'm just going to call him the lazy empress from now on. 
we got a, we got a, we, you know, this is a false empress, you know, look at him right there. It's like, oh, just, just take care of me. Um, yeah, so I would, I would like a cheese on my roast beef sandwich. Thank you so very much. Um, I'm, a li- I'm a little busy over here, uh, primping myself. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Judgment. Is this the return of the... <laughs> the lazy empress? Damn it, man. What is going on around here, man? I say hell no to all these lazy bastards. This one's your energy. This one's your magic. Damn it. <laughs> Give me card right here. Taurus. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're the Empress, Taurus. Let me see. What is this? This is Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Aries. Taurus, give me a card right here. Taurus. The star came out. That's interesting, isn't it? Definitely need another one because well the star the star don't mean that ain't shit manifesting right now. Star is always in the future, right? It's great hope. It's great faith. It's a card of healing. I just don't like all this return energy. I, I don't play with it too well. I need something on this star for Taurus. I get this right here because they've been coming out all night. You know, I mean, uh, they could even be expecting you to walk on water, Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Huh. That's Mary. Mary walking on water. There's a ship and a storm behind them right there. Give me some on this star right here. It could be their hope, and they want they tore us back, but you know they probably just come over and sit on the couch again. Yeah, make me a sandwich, Taurus. <laughs> I don't know. Give me some on this star right here, star Taurus. Yeah, the high priestess came out. I mean, that's about secrets. It's also about following your intuition. About these people coming back, man. That's what it talks about. Same old thing right there. Oh, it's all about me, Taurus. It's all about me. I don't know. I swear there's a star for you. I, I wouldn't say it's this character right here. You're the empress. And it could very well say that as well. It could say, if there's nobody in your life, right? Now, it could say, this is Phoenix from the ashes for you. This is absolutely your energy right here, uh, the Empress, and she's always birthing new to the star, great hope and great faith, and the high priestess talks about being led and guided. Now, I think that's the general message with the whole thing. But if it is a return, this individual hasn't changed at all. Source is going to show you. See, there's the wheel right there. It's time for you to go. Look how bored Aphrodite looks on this car. She looks bored, man. Bored waiting on this wheel to turn. Oh, there's a strength card. Yeah. (laughs) Very much says, no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, The wheel needs to spin in another direction in my life. And uh, I'm going to let Source lead me and guide me. It's inspired action. Following your dreams. Following your bliss. Strength card, resistance to this uh, fake empress over here. I love you. I love you, Taurus. Enjoy the journey. High Priestess wants to lead you to a star. Let's go. Let's go. A couple more right here. A couple more from my friends. Who's up? Capricorn. Cap Cap. My Capricorns. Couple of cards, Kappa Cap, Major Arcana, Major. Kappa Cap, Kappa Cap, Capricorn, Capricorn. I love Capricorn. I do, man. 
They're amazing. Yeah. High fibers. Well, high fibers are amazing in every zodiac. All right. Capricorn. Capricorn. What do we got? The lovers. Oh, shit. <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> I'm going to tell like everybody else. That looks like a devil to me. That looks like a devil. That looks like an angel. Um, maybe maybe they look different to you, but that looks like a devil. And it looks like an angel. And uh, this is a card about making choices, you know, about lovers. Capricorn got the Capricorn got the devil in the lovers card. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn, your card right here, Capricap. Cap. Uh huh. Choice about oh yeah, well they you're in good company. These devils be leaving everybody in the hangman tree. You know, um, this hangman right there, you hang in that tree uh till you get the vision. Till you get the vision from the gods, you know, this is the old American Indians right there. They'd strap them up right under the collarbone right there and just hang them there in the tree until they got the vision that you're going to get a vision. One way or another, or you're going to the other side. Yeah, they normally they always got a vision. They always got a word from the divine. You know, <laughs> hangman, the lover, want to keep Cappy and hangman. The hangman's about getting the vision, getting the word, new perspective about the devil. <laughs> On a lover's card right here. Let's go, man. All right. All right. Cappy. Coming out of the tree. Getting a vision. <laughs> Choices in lovers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're, we're done hanging in this damn tree. Give me a card. Cappy. Now the wheel came out. Oh, Aphrodite looking bored as the day is long. How long, how long I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this for this devil lover right over here to figure it out. I don't know. That's the wheel. That's the wheel. It's supposed to spin in a new direction. It's supposed to be winter, winter, chicken dinner. It's supposed to be Cappy coming down out of the tree. Tired of looking at this journey right here. I'm gonna keep you in a tree. Give me something on the wheel. Something on the wheel. Cappy cap. <laughs> it's a hair fan. These are all very, very spiritual journeys that I'm looking at right here. I mean, you know, thank these knuckleheads for doing this work with you. No, Mike, we're not doing that. <laughs> Jillian. <laughs> yeah. It's it's temperance. You know, that's a great alchemist. The wheel's spinning here. I don't know if it's spinning for that. I don't know. <laughs> Give me one more. Capricorn. <laughs> uh, again, I got a hermit right there. So you may get on down out of that tree right there. I don't know. These are very spiritual cards, Cappy. You know, the wheel's spinning, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, there's a fool, the Whirly Durbin. These are all very spiritual cards, Cappy, from the hangman right there. Because of this lover, whoever that is right there, set your ass off on a spiritual journey. Oh, justice. That means that this journey is over. Are just about to be, man. Anyway, these 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 are interesting reads, man. Capricorn coming down out of the hangman's tree, getting all lit up, boy. Oh, you know when you get all lit up like that, all you can expect is winter, winter chicken dinner, and the wheel was on there, Cappy. Give me a card. Who's up? Aries. Aries, love it, Aries, number one, Aries, number one, give me some cards right here, a couple cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 
Aries. Justice. Damn. I swear only, only maybe 10 cards have come out of this deck. Oh, there's only 22, though. Uh, Libra energy. Uh, Aries, how come justice is coming out with your first card right here? Uh, that talks about shit being out of balance, out of alignment. And uh, they either need to get into alignment or uh, that sword. That sword's there, you know. There's a, there's a sarcophagus down there. Uh huh. There's a wise owl flying around up here. Uh, the scales, the scales are being weighed out around here, huh, Aries? You know, the feather versus the condition of somebody's heart. Hmm. Damn. Justice. Ugh. Somebody could be in trouble. Aries. Aries in the now. What's going on? Aries. Temperance. Not for you. You be chilling. You be doing the work. See, look at this shit. It's upside down. Th this is upside down, whatever this is right here. And I would say this is the great alchemist. Maybe you're alchemizing this situation to turn in justice. I want you focused on you, though, right? I want you mixing your cups for you. This shit's upside down, man. Justice, temperance. So you're definitely healing yourself. You're doing, you're definitely doing the work on you. That's Sagittarius. That's Libra. I love the butterflies, right? It's 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 the caterpillar journey. Mixing your own cups and your for yourself is what I'm getting right here. <sighs> Although these are, you know, I mean, these are really both two cards of balance. I mean, a lot of us are working with faith and believing for, you know, a particular person. Uh, that's not really how we get it. We just give our list a source because it can get challenging when we get all stuck on a particular person because there's free will involved in it. I do like this energy for you right here, Aries. It's a very balanced energy. It's a very spiritual energy. It's a very Zen energy about you loving yourself because there's some shit that's out of balance, man. There's no doubt about it, man. The, the, the scales are being weighed by the gods right now. I would say you passed this, uh, your, your heart's right. The temperance there. But I would say this shit's still upside down. Give me a card. Aries. 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 Wow, the sun. Um, and that is a card about epiphanies, enlightenment, revelations. Leo showing up strong here. Give me one more on this. Temperance to the sun after justice. An epiphany and an enlightenment. Oh, we get right there. And the star. Ooh, damn. I mean, this could very well <laughs> this could very well say that you're you're gonna get what you're what you're manifesting. Some justice in a situation. There's balance, temperance. There's the sun. I mean, that's a yes card. And, but it wouldn't be now. I mean, I have to grab all that that I just gave you right there because the star is here. And the star doesn't happen now. You may play temperance for a minute because I, I still think this, whatever I'm looking at here, is still out of balance. Sun to the star. I don't know if you got time to, to do all that. <laughs> this could be a dream coming true one day. You're the one mixing it. They're the one out of balance. 
I don't know, sun to the star. Could happen one day before you leave this planet. <laughs> Mike says go forward, man. Anyway, I love you, Aries. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> Damn it. I am rough on this because there's people out there that just keep you spinning around and around and around. Normally, that's what I read for. If I see a little twinge of that, I'm like, just drop this. Just drop it, man. Anyway, do what's best for you. I love you guys. Two more, my friends. Who's left? Saggy, Cancer. Let's go. Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Cancer. 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 Let's go. Give me some cards for cancer. Here we go. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> cancer. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Cancer. Cancer, cancer. Past. Oh fuck. Now you got me now you got me using bad words, cancer. That's that old Santa Maria death card right there. Damn, somebody playing with candles and shit. I don't like this card at all, man. It's a creepy card. It's uh it's 13. It's death. Could have laid some to rest. I don't know, man. Good riddance, Mag. I send all that energy back. I don't like that card. Somebody playing around with shit. Cancer, I love you. Protect yourself if that resonates with you. Cancer. Chariot. God damn, are they whipping up another batch of love bomb number five before they come rushing in here? To my cancer, because look how aggressive this card looks. It's like they're pointing their finger at you. You know, because you're on your way to victory. Probably left his old devil behind right over there. With their old, come to me, come to me. Oh. Yeah. Somebody wants to manifest something with you again. I don't like the death card one to manifest with you. I, 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 I don't dig it. I don't dig it at all, Cancer. I don't dig that death card wanting to get in a chariot and come chase you down. I, I'm not digging that. <laughs> Ron Forrest. Ron, man. Give me more on this. Return to sender. I see you right there, Kay. <laughs> Cancer. Uh, oh my God. Yes, a lover. Oh, oh damn it. It's our devil right there. L little devil. Little angel. Little devil. Lovers. No, you're flying too high. No, you're flying too high. Come on, grab my hand. Let me pull you back down here to the ground again, Cancer. You're flying too high. You're probably going freaking forward right now in life. Did you did you let this old devil go? I hope you did, man. They don't want, man. They don't want. They don't they don't want. Oh no, no, no. You can't fly high. No, you can't. No, you can't. No. No. Oh, you made a choice about a lover right there. They don't like that choice. Yeah, you're going forward. Here we go. Cancer. Cancer, go forward. Do the magician. It's about new beginnings. Can be the charming trickster, though, as well. But not so much with this card. This, this doesn't really represent the charming trickster to me at all. This is a very zen individual, uh, tuned in, right? Uh, the wheel in the wheel. Um, covered with eyes and uh, definitely a deliberate creator, a manifester right there. 
Uh, this is an old lover, man. They don't want you to go, man. Just protect yourself. Just protect yourself. Yeah, I might be telling you about some secrets about this person, this creep right here. Wow, justice is here. Damn it, man. This person might be in trouble with the gods, man, for fucking with my cancer. In the name of love. These people are crazy, man. Yeah, you know, there's secrets and intuition. You know. You know you're already going forward from this individual right here. There's justice on this. So... I mean, I see this is all new energy moving forward right here. So Justice could very well talk about dropping another the sword on this old secretive. Creepy. Yeah. This is, yeah. They are secretive. They are creepy. They are hairy. <laughs> Male or female. <laughs> Give me a card right here. Cancer. Cancer. Yeah, single and free equals happiness. Tell tell us about it, Moonlight Paths. I agree. I agree. All right. All right. Single and free equals happiness. Hey, I love it. All right. All right. And this is about you manifesting new beginnings. Don't let, the, don't let this creepy shit change. Oh, yeah, tower. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's heads that? Who's heads that right there? This person's in fucking trouble, man. That's a creepy bastard right there. Cancer. That's a real loser right there, man. I'm so glad you're getting in your chariot and manifesting a new world. That's what it says to me, Cancer. Good for you. All right. God bless it. Did you see all those creepy cards? Unbelievable, man. All right. I hope that doesn't resonate with not one cancer, but that was some spooky ass shit right there. Whew. <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, there you go, y'all. Right there, man. Whatever that was, man. Get in the chariot. Don't look back. Don't turn into the pillar of salt. Don't look back. <laughs> Here we go, man. Saggy. Saggy. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I think Saggy's gonna get any of our 10 cards, or maybe they'll maybe they'll pull out of one of the 11 that we haven't seen tonight. Saggy. Saggy. No, got the sun. Huh. Leo energy. Straight out your card right here, Saggy. There we go. That's the sun. You know, and uh, so, I mean, always when we meet up with somebody that's bright and shiny. You know, this is damn snakes wrapped around this bastard right there. His snakes all wrapped around him. I guess it's a good snake. It's golden. I don't know, man. That face is kind of crazy on there, man. Damn it, man. What is this, Saggy? Damn it. I don't know. That's somebody that was pretty bright in your eyes. Saggy. Here we go. Sagittarius. Saggy. In the now. Son and Oh, <laughs> The full card. That's Aquarius, Aries energy, Uranus, change. Maybe you don't see this person the way you used to see him anymore. Maybe you don't see him in the same light. You know, because that, that first card out right there, right? I mean... Uh, Could absolutely uh been somebody that was just like, oh my god, uh, you know. A fool card. This is quite a spiritual card. It's a really Durban. 
It could be very spiritual cards too. And I did see somebody mention right there, Kundalini. Could be a Kundalini awakening for many of my Sagittarius. It's a very interesting experience. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that old golden snake right there. Uh huh. Sun to the fool. Fool staring right at the sun. I swear it's like it's a different it's a different vision of what you saw as the sun before at one time. Could have been a Kundalini awakening. Saji, the emperor came out. Saji, your cards are really interesting. What's that emperor? I almost, I almost feel like this might be two people. See? And we got the fool in the middle of it. Which way do I go? Is that what I'm looking at? Which way do I go? Because, you know, the emperor is... Stability. The emperor could be maybe even somebody a little older than you. Stability, entrepreneurship. They could be. They could be, you know, you know, stubborn and set in their fucking ways. This one over here, man, is just all bright and shiny and. They got the zodiac around them. Maybe they work with astrology. This person has a wheel in their hand, though, too. This is really interesting. I think this is a choice with Saji. Which way to go? Which way to go? Do we go with the bright, shiny one? Or do we go with the one that has stability? Like I said, this one may be older. This one may be younger. Wow. All right. All right. Let's go. Saji. I gotta throw some more on this. I gotta I gotta throw something on that sun card because I'm thinking these are these are two and we got the whirly Durban in between them. You know, which way do we go? It's something on that sun card. Oh, the high priestess came out on that. Hmm. Again, I mean, um, there could be secrets and all of that, right? This person could actually have a little bit of a dark side with them. Even though uh, they may not appear to everybody else that they have a dark side, but it is the high priestess. And I don't know. Um, there's secrets, no doubt about that. They get quiet. They probably pull away. Anyway. There's something on this emperor right over here. Sagittarius. Oh, they got the wheel on that. But damn, they got a wheel too. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. That's your that's your card right there, Sagittarius, on this emperor right here. Oh, <laughs> this one got the high priestess on the sun, so I don't think they're as sunshiny as you know they present themselves to be. <laughs> I think they got some secrets, and I think this emperor right over here is just be like. Um, well, if the wheel's meant to spin with Saggy, it will. That's what I'm getting right here. Give me one more. Give me one on the one on the fool right here. Saggy gets a couple extra cards because Saggy waited all night. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. What do we got? Give me some on 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 the on the fool, the whirly Durban, Saggy. Justice came out on that. I mean, 
The scales are being weighed out right now. You you're weighing the scale. I mean, you know, if this is the if this is the balancing of the scales, right, with the heart and the feather, then this says over here that this person is not as bright and shiny as they present themselves to be. This this person right here may even work in the esoteric world with all these zodiac symbols around them. But they got a dark side about them. No doubt about it. And this individual over here is probably just, I mean, Mr. or Mrs. Busy. I'm at work. <laughs> I'm building my empire. Um, but the wheel. You know, it says to it says to me that this person uh, is allowing the wheel to unfold here. It really does. Oh, it's the lover. Damn, Sag, yes. Choice between lovers right here. One of them's a devil. <laughs> and one of them's an angel, man. I love you, Saggy. Wow. Do his best for you. I choose the angel. <laughs> Use your intuition. High Priestess was there. All that fun shit right there, man. <laughs>